I'm Jay Markabibi, Associate Editor with CNET, here to take a first look at Google Drive for Android. If you haven't heard, Google Drive is out, and it is essentially Google's answer to Dropbox. You can put files in it, and it'll automatically sync to the cloud, so you can access your files anytime from any of your devices. Now, first thing to mention is that Google Drive actually has replaced the Google Docs app for Android. So, if you've updated the app, then you'll notice the new name and icon. But don't worry, the new Drive app has all of the Docs functionality built in. Just like on the web, Google Drive for Android opens up to your main dashboard, where you can see all of the files in your drive. If you want, you can also browse by the categories. From here, everything should feel familiar if you've used Google Docs. The layout is the same. You can rename, delete, and add collaborators. And you can view and edit the various types of Google Docs files, of course. To start a new document, tap the button up top here. One thing you'll notice is that now, with Drive, you can add photos or upload pretty much any kind of file you have on your device. And of course, you can access any of those files once they're on your Drive as well. And that's really the biggest difference with Drive. One thing I really like is the ability to make files available offline, which is great if you have important documents that you need to access while traveling. Where I think Google Drive needs to step it up is sharing. With Dropbox, I can share files with friends by creating a download link for them. And unfortunately, Google Drive can't do that. Overall, Google Drive for Android is solid. It's nothing groundbreaking, really, but it works. I haven't run into any problems with syncing or accessing my files, and all the Docs functionality is great. Again, I'm Jay Markabibi, and this is Google Drive for Android.